YouTube is a massive expanse online, its own world of ecosystems and content. Naturally, in this massive system, things slip beneath the radar, leading to a massive underground community to thrive. Sometimes, though, it gives platform to those who maybe shouldn't have it, to those who need mental help. And Harrison Briggs is the first example of this I've seen unfurling in real time. The Harrison Briggs YouTube channel is what I can best define as severe paranoia, unchecked, broadcast to the web. Harrison himself is a man who travels and has been on YouTube since 2013. No G. Harrison uploads between one to four times a day, and Harrison believes his family has been replaced by clones an agent named Mueller is hunting him, and cultists are tracking him, and also that he was sexually experimented upon to make this all possible. Harrison wasn't always this way, understandably, but there is a point at which all of this began. A woman named Lisa falsely accuses him of rape. Now this is one of the worst things that can happen to a man, so he gets stressed the fuck out, and he does drugs. And then it becomes a habit. And this leads to your favorite thing, psychosis. And from here, things start to get worse. To answer an important question, many drugs can cause psychosis. The war on drugs may be heaping bullshit, but the fact is that drugs tend to be terrible for your health, wealth, and life. Methamphetamine, LSD, and other drugs can cause permanent mental impairments or complications. And understandably, Harrison was not immune to this, leading to a state of psychosis. With this, the delusions start. The delusions come first, and they probably came slowly. Slowly enough that Harrison's old vlog channel isn't that affected. And then it hits, and Harrison starts to believe that he is used as a sex slave by a cult, that they're ripping his hair out from the events, and that this cult has an accurate clone of him taking his place in the real world why they do this. After he's escaped, he leaves and goes on the run. This information isn't available from just his YouTube. He deletes the videos on YouTube too often, and the website he ran was taken down a few years back, but that's where I've gotten a lot of this. And digging it up from the Wayback Machine was a pain in the ass, and for Harrison's sake, I'm not going to plaster more than I already have on screen. Harrison is bouncing between Pennsylvania and Florida, scoring his highs and staying in motels. But as the delusions consume him, so too do the hallucinations. Videos about someone being in his room with him are all over his channel, but in all of them, it's just Harrison breathing heavily, peeking around corners all alone in some rundown motel room. It's tragic, it's sad, and worst of all, Harrison can't get help. He doesn't respond to comments on his channel, he doesn't have friends, and from what I've gathered, he doesn't even talk to his own family. He doesn't believe they're real. What drives him now is the belief that the cult, who he says is responsible for all of this, left his real mother and family somewhere between Pennsylvania and Florida. He asks the police for help and records people he believes to be body doubles planted by the cult in the towns that he stops in, and that's about the extent of his life, for almost eight years. And at some point, he started to believe the government is involved. He thinks an agent named Mueller is trying to track him down and take him back. And there he is, to this day, on the run from nothing, in the pits of a hell he created. It's honestly kind of sad explaining this whole mess of a situation. I feel bad for Harrison. His family has done their best to remove the husk of Harrison Briggs from their lives. He has no friends. He only has the broken mind sending him spiraling further, and the YouTube channel watching with sadness and disgust. Some of the replies on his videos are full of sympathy, and some are people trying to make his paranoia worse. Which, important side note, if you're one of the people doing that, fuck you! Let this story be a warning about drugs. And Harrison, if you're watching this, I hope you realize there's a whole group of internet strangers rooting for you to get better, to be sober. 
and that life can be brighter than this. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing. It's free and it helps my dreams. And regardless, have a wonderful time. Memento Mori.